this is a PCM CIA Ethernet card and that I've connected to a Mega 1200 and it gives a really reliable connection to the network. I bought this from Retro Ready, um, who gives the best support I've ever had and I highly recommend buying from him. Um, I've downloaded all the dependencies linked below in this video uh, to a compact flashcard and if you want to know more about compact flashcards you can look at my other video about Wi-Fi on the Amiga 1200. For these two particular dependencies here, card uh, reset and card patch, I've never had to install these because the compact flash card reader I use installs them uh, itself with its own software. I talk about this briefly in my other video on Wi-Fi, which is the second link in the description below. So this is a fresh install of uh, Amiga Workbench 3.1. Um, and the first thing I need to do uh, is to install the the LHA um, program so that we can uh, extract all of the other dependencies. So you can see that uh, this is extracting several different binaries of LHA and the LHA 68020 is the one we're interested in. Um, but of course in the destination we need to rename it And now we can extract the CNET device, which contains the driver for the card. Coming up in the list of extracted files, you'll see CNET.device and CNET16.device. You'll want to install one of these drivers depending on which card you have. For a 10 slash 100 megabyte per second card, you use CNET16.device. If you have a 10 megabyte per second card, you use CNET.device. In my case, I'll be using CNET16.device for a 10 slash 100 megabyte per second card. And there it is in the drawer. So we can go on to the next step, which is to install the Roadshow TCP IP stack. So I'm using the Roadshow demo, um, which I downloaded, um, which you can just use to verify. And the documentation here, I'm actually skipping, and that will knock about 15 to 20 minutes off your installation time for Roadshow. But um, if this works for your setup, which the, it should, um, I'd encourage you to buy the full version. Uh, and apparently the, uh, the, there's a performance difference as well between the two, so the full version is actually better than uh, this one. And that's Roadshow done, so now we just need to copy the Roadshow settings file, um, CNET16. So go to the storage net interfaces drawer in, in the sys location and we can see the CNET file is there. So for my card, we copy the CNET file to devs net interfaces and we're renaming it to CNET 16 to match our card and driver. Or if you have a 10 megabytes per second card, copy to the same location without renaming as above. And if we go to the devs net interfaces, we can see that both of the files have been copied to the destination, but you'll only need one depending on your card and driver. If you're using cnet.device, you can ignore this step, but if you're using cnet16.device, you need to edit the cnet device file and change the line where it says device equals to match, and then just save and quit. And there are other options you can look into for your specific setup if you come into difficulty. And finally here, we just open the shell to ping the router and see, do we have a connection? And success, we have a result. So we're connected to the network now through our uh, Ethernet. And uh, at this point, you'd probably want to run some software on top of that. And if you want to see how to set up the AMI FTP, FTP clients, you can check my other video at the link below. Have fun with your network card. I'm going to reassemble my computer with the help of some soldiers, the uh, 
Enterprise 1701 under the watchful eye of our manager, the koalas in the San Diego Zoo. That's all from me. Thanks. Bye.